What's that I hear? Absolutely nothing. Where is it crickets? Why is the Arrow Spence platforms gone radio silent? Come on, y'all. Make it make sense. Y'all was talking about Terrence Crawford's resume, trying to downplay his uh, his career. Shout out to Crawford for handling things like a gentleman. He could have gone in hard, but he's uh, he's showing he's a true champion inside the ring and outside the ring. And I told you that's why he was going to win the fight, because he's a champion outside the ring. Shout out to Errol Spence, too, because he ain't coming up with no excuses. I actually saw a certain platform that I never heard of before, and I won't be subscribing or watching. I watched some of it. It was just too silly, you know. Some dudes actually claiming that the fight was fixed. I'm going to let that sink in. The fight was fixed. Man, I tell you, man. Fanboys in 2023 are a whole lot different than the fanboys when I was growing up. The fight was fixed. Obviously, he doesn't know anything about a fixed fight. If you go back and look at fixed fights or suspected fixed fights, no one's going to get pummeled for nine rounds to fix a fight. Oh, he wanted to make it look believable. No. If you're going to take a dive, you're going to go out by either a phantom punch or a punch that's not that hard. And uh, you go down. I'm not going to name any names right now. But fighters out there that have taken uh, dives, they know who they are. Um, you should never need money so bad that you'll uh, sacrifice your integrity or your name. But I just thought that was the silliest thing. The fight was fixed. Errol Spence took some money. If you guys don't stop, he was getting paid millions anyway. What's he going to get an extra million if he takes a dive? If you guys don't stop. Now, I understand this might be for views or might be even clickbait, but I just looked at the title of the dude's video and I'm like, like here we go. If your favorite fighter loses, just take it on the chin. Like I said, Errol Spence isn't making any excuses. Why are you guys? The fight was not fixed. Did you see Errol Spence's face at the end of that fight? I'm seeing those memes from Martin, you know, where he got in the ring with Tommy Hearns and his face kind of did resemble that. But for you guys to keep coming up with excuses and narratives and he was weight drained and I'm even seeing people turn on uh, Derrick James now saying, well, what kind of trainers he should have stopped the fight? Now, when I was watching the fight, I was like uh, Showbiz and Kurt from Counterpunch Boxing News. I was saying, stop it. Stop the fight. But I was thinking from the referee's point of view. I wasn't thinking of the corner. Now, the corner could have stopped it. In retrospect, I think maybe uh, Derrick James should have come in and stopped the fight. But I'm sure after the backlash that Mark Breland got for the Deontay Wilder situation, he probably told himself, I I'm not stopping a fight. Uh, you know, I almost have to be out on a stretcher before I stop a fight. But like I said, in retrospect, now that I think about it, he should have stopped it. But I'm not going to call him a bad trainer because he didn't stop the fight. You know, you're caught up in the heat of the moment. He had never been in that situation before. Errol Spence had never been in that situation before. And, you know, it's easy for people on their couch to sit there and say what should have happened, but you weren't in the heat of battle. You're just sitting there watching it from the audience. So it's a little different when you're in the middle of it. And I just don't like excuses, you know. I don't like, I don't like when fighters lose a fight and then say they were sick in training camp. I don't like when, you know, you hear, uh, you hear their, uh, their homies or whatever talk about, oh, well, he didn't get enough time to train for the fight. Well, then why'd you take the fight? Excuses, excuses, 
is so useless. That's a bar. <laughs> but, you know, maybe you could say, come up with some other things, but to say the fight was fixed, man, you're not going to get your head beat off to fix a fight. I mean, okay, you get an extra million for fixing the fight, and then you use that money to pay for your hospital bill because you got brain damage now because you got pummeled for nine rounds. Ain't happening. It's clear that anybody that says that has never been in the boxing ring because if you've boxed, if you've sparred, if you've even played around in the backyard with boxing gloves, you know how hard a punch can be, especially coming from somebody like Crawford. <coughs> Excuse me. You're not going to let Crawford punch on you for two rounds, let alone nine rounds. It's just not happening. And if you think so, lace up some gloves, no headgear, put your little mouthpiece in or gum shield if you're from the UK, and take some punches and tell me, take them for just three minutes, one round, and tell me if you would fix a fight for nine of those. Take, imagine taking that for nine rounds? Nah. It didn't happen and it's not logical, doesn't make sense. I know there are things that are fixed, but this wasn't one of them. I've seen certain games in the NFL that look suspect and I've talked about them. I've seen um, certain fights on Tuesday night fights that were uh, definitely not on the up and up. Like I said, I'm not gonna call any names right now, but those involved know who they are. And you can see when a fight is fixed, once again, it wasn't fixed. If you think it was fixed, find the fight somewhere, go watch it, study it, analyze it, and get back at me. This is J. Roos Theory. Make sure you subscribe, comment, share, LSR forever, and be fearless. Yeah.